The challenge for the team lay in tracking down former political players lost in the fog of history and scattered all over Singapore and the region. After locating them, the next great challenge was in cajoling and coaxing them to give their side of the story. Many were initially sceptical, if not cynical. Some were downright hostile, assuming that the book would be just a propaganda exercise to defy the party and to demonize the opposition. Typical of uh, some of their responses were, why should I cooperate with you to do a book on the party whose government locked me up for so many years? Why should I give you an interview so that you can use the material to vilify me? Are you sure that whatever I tell you will be printed? Fortunately, most of the people contacted gave the writers the benefit of the doubt and agreed to be interviewed. Despite being on the losing side and spending years in detention, many former leftists betrayed little bitterness or rancor and extended full cooperation to the team. And some of them are today with us in this chamber. Let me recognize Mr. Fong Sui Suan. Mr. Dominic Purcheri, Mr. Lim Jinju, Mr. Chen Sejim, and Mr. Lau Potak. Unfortunately, some had passed away since the interviews. What proved to be a treasure trove of precious insights were the 200-odd oral history interviews released by the National Archives of Singapore. They included the voices of Lee Kuan Yew and his wife, Kwa Gyok Chu, S. Rajaratnam, C. V. Devanaya, E. W. Barker, Fong Sip Chi, Richard Corridon, Lord Selkirk, David Marshall, S. Woodhall, James Putcherry, Ong Chan Sam, Lau Potek, Sun Lo Bun, and Chen Sejim.